Today we're going to show you how to change the fabric on your kneading fingers neck and back massager. What you'll need is your replacement parts from Clark's, your fabric. The fabric will come with two caps and then I have a Phillips head screwdriver and a utility knife. Um, when your fabric is wore out, if you have holes or anything in your fabric, we do recommend that you do not use the machine for safety reasons. So always get that changed uh, right away. So first thing, make sure that your machine is unplugged. And on the back side of your machine, your kneading fingers, there are six screws that hold the uh, machine together. So first thing we'll do is take those uh, screws out. Okay, now we have all of our screws out. So what you want to do is flip the machine back over, right side up. You'll see the top and the bottom case are shaded a little differently. So what you'll do is just take your top case and gently lift it off. On this machine it's getting uh, caught a little bit on the massage knobs. So in that case what you'll do is just take your finger inside the machine and you'll feel a round um, plastic wheel and you'll just turn that. That is actually the fan on the machine. And so as you turn that, that will move the massage knobs to where you can get the case lifted off. Okay, so we lift this off. And on the previous models of the kneading fingers, the ones that have the, the touch button or the switch on the side, there is a, um, a cord that comes from the timer board to the power supply board. And you'll just need to gently unplug that. And then the bottom part, we will just set aside until we put the machine back together. Now on our corded, our current model corded controller, you will not need to mess with the, um, the cord because it's, it's not there. So, Okay, the next step we will do is um, remove the screws. There are six screws that hold the fabric in place. So we will take our Phillips head screwdriver and we will remove those. The size of these screws that hold the fabric on are a little bit larger than the ones we previously took out, so you'll want to keep them separated. Okay, and your old fabric will just pop off of the cabinet and you can discard that. On the, the new fabric that we send you, there is a trim piece that goes around the fabric. Before you install this piece, we recommend that you take this trim and just slide it up over the plastic mounting of the fabric, and that helps it so it doesn't get caught in between your fabric and your, um, your cabinet on the machine. So we've got all those flipped up. Next, we will take um, the fabric that's covering the visible hole on, the, on the, our fabric piece there are the six screws, but there only one of those screw holes will be visible to you. So you'll want to pull that fabric back and hold it just so you can, that'll help line it up with the cabinet. So we'll just slide this in and line up our, our holes. And your visible one will be, you'll be able to line that one up. Oops. 
Now what you might have to do is put, hold uh, your other hand underneath for some pressure uh, to keep that in place while you put, put the screws in. All right, and then you just go ahead and screw the other five in. These other five, uh, you will need to apply a little bit more pressure just to screw through uh, the fabric. Okay, we have our six screws uh, installed and our new fabric put on our top case. And now we will replace the caps on the massage knobs. Uh, as I said, every time we send a fabric out, we also include two of the plastic caps. We recommend that you change these out every time that you replace your fabric. There might be a hairline crack in the caps from use uh, that uh, you'll need to put some new ones on to help the, your fabric last longer. So we'll take our utility knife and if your knobs don't lift off, these are pretty, these are lifting off pretty easy. Um, what you'll do is you'll take your utility knife or whatever knife you have at home and you'll just cut a slit down your cap and then peel that cap off. But these are coming off nice and easy so we'll just lift those off and then your new ones just slide those on. Now these will go on a little bit harder because they are new. There is a hole in the top of the cap uh, to let air out so you'll want to make sure you don't cover that when you push those on. Okay so now we have our caps uh, installed on the knobs. So all we have to do is reinstall our top cabinet. And first thing you want to make sure that you plug this back into your power supply board and it just snaps right back in. And then this should just slide easily. Just line up your cabinet, your top cabinet with the bottom cabinet. Turn it back over and put your screws back in. and you're all set. If you have any issues or questions when you change out your fabric, we always encourage you to call our customer service line and we will be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.